What's going on guys? It's Thin. You know who it is. It's Thin and only Thin because I'm awesome. Again, I'm not awesome, but I like to think I am. Um, a few things I want to talk about before I start this commentary. One, if you haven't noticed, it's not live. This is an old game I have. Um, and kind of going along with that, the fact that it's an old game. Uh, old gamer tag, Brain Day 2015. This was before I was, me and a few friends started DWP. So don't think, oh, you just stole this uh, gameplay. Nope, it's mine, just old gamer tag. So, if you haven't read the title, which I'm not sure how you could not do, because probably why you clicked on the video, this is a commentary about how to have fun playing Call of Duty, which, you know, for some people, they already have fun because they get 100 kills a game. Um, you know, every now and then, you know, you get to have that privilege, but sometimes it just doesn't work out that way, and I just got done playing some Black Ops, as you're watching right now, and I just wasn't having fun, because I was, you know, I just wa I wanted to try to get that, you know, 50 to 100 kill game with two deaths and because I know what it's possible because I know I've done it before but I was just getting mad and so I was like I sat down and I stopped and I was like okay I'm gonna make a commentary about how to have fun playing this game and these are a few tips that I have and remember this is not like I'm not gonna try to tell you to get better because if you get better you're probably also gonna have fun but that's a whole different commentary what I want to talk about in this video is some basic little things that you can do if you're playing one night and it's just not working out for you and you, this is um, th these are some tips that you can follow that are really just going to help you have more fun playing the game when you're not doing so well. So here's what we're, we're just going to start off. I got a list right in front of me. We're just going to go ahead and talk about this. Number one, use random classes. It's something I've done before. Uh, you can either like you know close your eyes and just go through custom classes and pick a pick a random gun. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Still kind of sick as you know. Uh, so yeah, you can go through. You can pick out a random gun. Yeah, that's that's a possibility. Or if you really want to, which I th I find this a lot of fun when you're not trying to go try hard, not trying to go try hard. Um, there's a there's a website. I'll throw it in the description. You can click on it, and it's got Black Ops and I know it's got MW3 and Black Ops. Not sure about anything older than that, but it'll actually completely create a, a class for you, and you can customize it based on your level, so it gives you guns that you have, which is really cool. Because I mean, it's just completely random. You have no input on it. If you just say I'm gonna follow it directly, that's the class you're gonna use. So. Number one, use some random classes. Number two, and this is something I've been doing a lot lately, is play less try-hard games. Um, in MW3, a perfect example of that, which I've been playing a lot lately, is Infected. Um, Infected is not a try-hard game at all, if you take it the right way. You can have a lot of fun playing it, because it's, it's they're quick games. It picks the gun for you, so you can't pick it. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I know, it's a lot of fun, it's kind of basic. But what I'm saying is, it takes away from that fact that you got to get this many kills to win. And you just don't get mad as much. So, I'm so, sorry sorry for the pause there. Just try it. It might work, it might not. Um, another example of this is in Black Ops. You want to play some wager matches? Um, don't go... I'm starting the lower ones. I'm not. I'm having a blank right here. I don't know exactly what they're called. But do the lower ones where you really don't lose that much money. So, it's again, it's not something you're going to get mad about if you lose. So, yeah. Wager matches. Try them out. Um, this next one, it's not always going to work. It doesn't really work with me, but I kind of thought I'd throw this in here throw this in there, not in here, in there, because I know it's something that will work for some people, and it's going to be, it's, it's probably a pretty basic tip to most people, but play with your friends, um, it's, it's, it just adds more fun to the game, I mean, if you're, if you're playing by yourself, you're not talking to anybody, um, playing with your friends, you can, like, have a conversation, you know, what'd you do at school that day, or uh, if you're older, like, hey, man, what, how's your job going, or something, I don't know, whatever you want to talk about, but it takes away from that, f the fact that you're not playing so well, <laughs> So it's just another thing that you can do to take away from the, the fact that instead of focusing on the game, you're focusing on other things that prevent you from, you know, getting so angry or, I don't know, maybe you guys don't get angry. I get angry sometimes, but if you play Call of Duty, I think most people get a little angry every now and then. Um, number four, this is a big tip that I use a lot, especially besides like the play less try hard games, I use this one a lot, and it's focus on ranking up. If you focus on ranking up, it's good. It's gonna take away that whole aspect of, I need to get a bunch of kill this game. So every time you die, you're like, that's okay. I, I still like maybe you got an assist. You're not mad that you got an assist. You're like, oh yeah, it's still 50 points that I got. If you're playing TDM, that's still 50 points that you got towards ranking up. Another part of this is that um, playing playing to rank up it focuses you more on the objective because you're gonna get more points. That's it's been a thing through most Call of Duties. I can't say as much for Call of Duty before and stuff, but you're you get more points playing the objective. That's just how it works because that's how they design the game. So playing the objective, again, takes away from that fact about getting kills, and you, you kind of go more for the win, and you go for the objective, like capping a flag or jumping on B when there's maybe some guys, there's a possibility that you could die, instead of, you know, 
well, I can guard B and get a bunch of kills because when you die, you lose that kill streak, and it's just it's just not a good thing. So, hey, focus solely on ranking up. It, it really works. Try it out, guys. Now, I got a few smaller tips. These are kind of things I threw in because I didn't know how much time I was going to have in this gameplay. So, these are a few th few smaller things. Some of them, maybe they're not, like, applicable. applicable. Sorry, big word. Applicable to everybody. But they're things that I've learned from personal experience that you can really do. Don't mind that terrible aim right there. Anyways, um, if, you, if you're able to, or maybe you already have one, create a second account. It, and don't worry about your KD or your win to loss. It really helps. Because I know, especially for somebody that, I mean, I'm not calling myself the best player ever because I'm nowhere close, but I'm a pretty good player. I average on all my, on all the call dudes, I average above a 1.5 KD. Uh, I keep above a 1 win to loss on most games. And it, it's something I try for. So if there's a night where I'm like, hey, I want to get like a, you know, a 30 win streak tonight and I lose, I get, I, mean, I get mad sometimes. It's just, it's just how I'm wired and that's just how it works. So having that second account that where you can go play and say, hey, I don't care if I have a .5 KD on this uh, account. All I'm playing this account is for fun. That, that it, it can really improve the the fact that you're not going to get mad because you're ruining your KD or win or loss. That sentence did not make any sense. I don't know why I said it, but I, th I hope you guys kind of got the I, the point. I was aiming for that. Create a second account. There we go. If possible, now this is not going to be this is going to be possible. Very very. Oh my God! What is up with me, guys? Um, this is not going to be possible for everybody, but create a YouTube channel. Ever since I've, uh, me and Andrew have created Thick and Thin, um, I've noticed I don't get mad as much because half the time I'm recording and when I'm recording, I'm focusing more on talking to you guys and interacting than I am about the games. Because if you notice, you watch any of our, if you've watched any of our, uh, episodes, games, episodes, uh, Throwback Thursdays, uh, some of our live com series, uh, you notice they're not very good games. I mean, I've had one good game, which was actually our last, uh, Throwback Thursday where I actually got dogs and a blackbird, and I was surprised because I'm like, hey, I wasn't expecting this. So it actually made it a lot better and more fun, the fact that I got something that, hey, I, I normally get this, but it, it kind of added to it. Last final tip. Try playing some older Call of Duties, if you have them. Again, this, these are not applicable to everybody. If you have some older Call of Duties, if you have Call of Duty... F I apologize. I just talked really fast, and I just kind of realized it. I kind of get going sometimes in the commentary, and I start talking really fast. Uh, play some older Call of Duties. If you have World at War or Call of Duty 4, it, it, it's fun. Now, this tip used to be better a while ago, but now that there's hackers and stuff, it's not as much fun. But hey, it, it still can be a lot of fun if, if you, for some reason you're able to get into a, uh, a game where there's no hackers or maybe you can host a private match. Definitely a possibility. Um, and my final tip, I'm just going to throw this out there. I'm not trying to be mean or thing, but if it's really affecting you, just don't play. I can't do it. I honestly can't. I, I question myself why I play this game sometimes. And it's just, I don't know, I'm addicted to it. Well, guys, if, you, if you've if you actually been watching the gameplay, you notice this is actually a, it's a really close game. And we just won. Look at that. We won by two. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it, I, I really thought this one out. So I'd appreciate if you guys went ahead and liked, comments, whatever you feel like it deserves. Peace, guys.